the Republican candidate for the U.S. Senate used the backdrop of blighted downtown Portsmouth as the vehicle to get his message across. Also on hand, support from the Reagan administration in the form of an Assistant Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. The topic was enterprise zones, but the attack was on Davis's record as mayor of Portsmouth and the number of jobs that were lost during his administration. The same attack was made last Monday. From the time Mr. Davis took office as mayor of Portsmouth until the time he left, this city lost more than 3,600 jobs. Indeed, it was only after he left office the job situation in Portsmouth began to improve. Tribble does not say, however, what Davis did wrong while serving as the mayor of Portsmouth. At the same time Tribble is attacking on this front, the Republican administration in Washington could be called to task for the same problem. Unemployment nationwide is skyrocketing. Tribble says that concerns him, but he lays the blame on previous Democratic administrations. The next salvos in this race are not very far off. Saturday morning, the candidates will debate in Williamsburg. Next week, the president visits in support of Tribble. In Portsmouth, Ed Hazelwood, The Daily News. With the blighted portions of downtown Portsmouth as a backdrop, Republican Senate hopeful Paul Tribble renewed the attack he started Monday on Dick Davis's record as mayor of this port city. Tribble, with Reagan administration support in the form of an assistant secretary of housing and urban development, initially spoke on the need for urban enterprise zones to repair dilapidated city areas. He then laid the blame for Portsmouth's woes on his opponent. From the time Mr. Davis took office as mayor of Portsmouth until the time he left, this city lost more than 3,600 jobs. Indeed, it was only after he left office that the job situation in Portsmouth began to improve. Tribble, however, would not say what Davis did to hurt Portsmouth employment. In response, the Davis campaign says, for Tribble to be lecturing Davis on urban problems is like a freshman congressman trying to teach President Reagan how to be a conservative. Davis Press Secretary Will Marshall says, just look around Portsmouth and see what Davis did. He gives as examples the restored waterfront, the residential tower, and the Portsmouth Marine Terminal. The next salvos in this race are not very far off. Saturday morning, the candidates will debate in Williamsburg. Next week, the president visits in support of Tribble. In Portsmouth, Ed Hazelwood, The Daily News.